Good morning. Um, I just wanted to talk really briefly about SSIS. What I've done here is I've dragged in an XML task inside the data flow. You'll see there's basically the meat and potatoes of SSIS is the control flow and the data flow. When I build out tasks in the data flow, it actually will build in a data flow task specifically here that I can then double click, drill into, and you'll see I'm brought up immediately to the data flow task. So what I did here is I dragged in an XML source and as a follow-up I did a data conversion because there were some issues regarding the Unicode uh, factors regarding um, the data that I'm bringing in which is books related it's not um, I mean it, it's it's just sample data okay um, so if I was to go here I'm just going to open this up really quick I'm able to generate the XSD and make a direct connection here which is my desktop books.xml it shows the columns here that it's sucking in and everything else associated with that. Now I can have error handling here. Um, these green arrows are on success. Not on complete, but on success. Um, you also can make yellow arrows that go for um, on completion, which is not success or failure essentially. Or you could go on failure, which is red. And you can have different visual error handling that managers and developers alike can jump in and see on a very easy basis. So now I'm going to move on to the data conversion where we have uh, some issues with converting the data over from uh, Unicode to non-Unicode and etc cetera, etc cetera, because the XML data that I got was not the same and didn't jive directly with um, the data SQL Server data types so I have this task here to make sure that um, everything gets um, put in the correct data type as well as length those are just warnings though then I drag in a SQL Server destination on the left hand side, make a direct connection, pull up the table that I've created associated with this data import, and then uh, click OK basically. And you can see the mappings as well in here, you just double click on them. And here are the mappings, you can draw them out. Some, for some reason, genre didn't directly correlate, so I just highlighted it, dragged it, and let it rip. Okay. Um, now on the other side, I'm just going to come into SSI, uh, SSMS here. Um, so if you can see here, uh, this is the success of my task. Now, I haven't run, run this yet. I'm going to show you that. So when I go into SQL Server Agent, let me just right click on this task here, go to Properties. And you can see here that I can schedule this. I can have it run at certain times. I can have notifications sent out via email or what have you. Um, I can automatically delete the task, whatever. I can add other steps on top of it. And currently I've tagged it as such here. Okay? So I'm going to run this task again. Now if I query this table, you're going to notice, just hitting F5 here, that all this data is in here. But let's say that I make a mistake or something goes awry and data gets inserted again. So I'm going to start this job again. And you can see this job as it's completing. Okay. As you can see here, it's completed. If I was to query this again, I get dupes. I get double data. Now, I don't know what the primary keys are or what the constraints are related to the database that we're going to be inserting into, but um, my favorite script is this one, um, which is a uh, common table expression. Um, and this is perfect, and it's basically a dedupe script. And if anyone's not familiar with this yet, um, for SQL Server anyway, you probably are going to want to keep this on hand. Um, I got this from SQLAuthority.com, which I'm obsessed with and I read on a daily basis. So I'm just going to F5 this real quick and I just deduped that whole screen for that little script. So if I was to query this again, it comes back in here again. Um, if I wanted to open up um, and do SSRS reports and deploy SSRS reports with um, matrices and graphs, um, you know, for the internal business managers and stuff like that, so they could see and deep dive kind of into um, the daily submissions of data and things of that nature. Um, I think that would be uh, something that we could really focus on as well. So anyway, thanks.